Hey guys, what's up? It's Sam. Today we are embracing cozy season and we're going to be talking about my favorite Ugg dupe. If you guys want to see more of me and my content, do not forget to subscribe down below. I make beauty, lifestyle, fashion type videos. So if you guys are into that, do not forget to hit that subscribe button. If you guys also want to see more of that type of content, but short form, you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Both are samantha.hope. And of course, all of my other links are down below. So like my Pinterest, LTK, all that fun vibe. All of the shoes mentioned in this video will also be linked down below as well. So you guys can have the ease of just shopping those links. All right, guys, without further ado, do, we are going to be talking about my favorite Ugg dupe. Uggs are really having a moment. They're having their comeback. They have been crushing it lately. And I have to be so honest, I think it's hard to be like a good pair of Uggs. Like, I gotta be real. I think if you're looking for essentially like an exact replica of Uggs, you're probably not gonna be able to find it. Unfortunately, I have really tried so hard to find this. I have like shopped so many different websites that are like, it's the same manufacturer, it's this, it's that. They're never the same to be totally honest. However, Uggs come with a high price point and a pretty firmly believe like I don't feel like you need more than one pair having multiple is great so absolutely if you feel like you have the budget to do it go for it but I don't feel like with the cost of it that you necessarily need to have all the different styles I live in Chicago so it is cold so naturally I do have a pair of Uggs like actual Uggs I love these things but I will say that I have found multiple pairs that really live up to this they're not exactly this but they're so close that I feel like they're worth it don't get me wrong love these babies wear them all the time but I don't necessarily think it would be worth spending this money on it if I didn't live somewhere as cold as Chicago I actually bought these back when I lived in Seattle a few years ago and I almost could never wear these because it was always raining these are not rain friendly boots so I rarely ever was able Able to wear these i like them a lot but not necessarily for that type of weather when i lived in new york i wore these decently but it wasn't as cold really could have just been that particular winter but i love these especially when it's snowing like such a necessity such a need i also spray all of my boots with scotch guard i can link that down below if you guys want it too but basically it's i think it's actually for furniture but i spray it on my boots because it protects them don't get me wrong you can't necessarily like go out and just like dunk your feet in water and expect them to turn out fine like that's not the vibe but it adds a different layer of protection than they typically have so keep in mind that all of these boots that i'm going to be talking about live up to this one but aren't this one if you want this one you're just gonna have to buy this one you know what i mean but the cost is high so let's talk dupes okay let's talk about specifically the minis so this boot would compare the most to this boot obviously different colors i don't have the platform ones they're not my favorite but i think they're super cute though so like i don't think it makes that big of a difference but just something to keep in mind i bought these because i saw online that they were made in like allegedly the same factory so i was like oh my god i need to get these like that's such a good deal. I don't remember exactly how much I paid. I believe I paid about $60 for these. These are a few years old and I've really worn these to pieces. So something to keep in mind when you're looking at the quality and how well loved they are because they truly are very well loved. Like they have lived a wonderful life so far and they've come with me on so many journeys. I forget the exact brand that I bought these from. I believe it was like apostrophe or something along those lines. I might just be like reciting a podcast out I heard today. That might not actually be the brand, but they have have a lot of really high quality products on their website from what I remember and so to me I was like let's go for it let's do it and I've really liked these again because they're not the same price point as these ones I'm going to be kind of weighing them differently and I tend to wear these if I'm scared that I'm gonna get like these ones dirty and I don't want to wear these instead so like that's kind of the use case for it like these have been through a lot worse these have been through rain snow like they've really trudged through life with me so <laughs> something to kind of keep in mind about these one of the things that is odd so so important to me is this base part this is like my number one criteria it sounds so so weird but like I hate when you can tell that this is so flimsy and they just like completely cheaped out on the base part I cannot stand that I feel like my Uggs have like a really sturdy base that's still like cushy it's not like rubbery or anything but i don't like when i'm like i feel like the base is just gonna wear out so so quickly another thing i like to look at is how thick this material actually is so i had a pair of uggs when i was like in middle school i was obsessed with them this was like the bailey button time you know what i mean like that's when those were like huge but they wound up wearing down a lot right here and then they got a hole in it and it sucked these i have not noticed any issues with that at all and again like i wear these a lot these are well loved 
they have a little bit of issue with keeping their structure right here just because of the way i've worn them and kind of like i don't know the way your ankle bends like it puts a lot of pressure on this part you can kind of see how it's similar here where there's like a little bit of an indent where my legs have kind of like pushed down on it but this material is definitely thicker compared to this it's not like a substantial difference but it is enough to where i notice it this material is also softer than this than this material you'll also notice that like the back has the logo on this one and this one doesn't i actually don't mind this at all i liked that this one had a like less obvious logo on it i liked it a lot when i was younger but like now i feel like it just doesn't it like doesn't do it for me anymore i don't necessarily like seeing the logo on it i have tried multiple of these so far this is i would say the best one but it might be the second best and we'll talk about that one in a sec however i've really liked these they're not an exact dupe none of these are going to be exact dupe but they're quite nice like these ones a lot now we're going to talk about the one that i think might beat it out this one so this one is kind of fulfilling the ultra mini category the ultra minis are so hard to find online the reason why i like these ones more number one they have held up better i have worn these and like kind of put them through some rough situations but like i haven't found anywhere that's super obvious to me like it just even like the fur inside these are newer i got these these the season so like keep that in mind but it has worn really really well this is more of a thicker fur material so at some point it is just going to get more matted it's super normal it's not like a weird or bad thing to happen these are really really warm inside these ones i would say are a bit warmer than these ones and i would say like the fur inside is better but i think because of the choice that they made like in terms of fur these ones don't get my feet as sweaty which is random and weird but they feel really plush inside too i also have haven't had issues so far with this getting maddened down so that's good i also like how the structure of this one the way it lays feels more similar to the ugg structure it's kind of harder to see since it's dark but you can kind of tell like the way the curve is it's similar compared to this it's not bad it's just more similar in this way i haven't had any issues with this front part but a lot of that has to do with it is newer boots so i can't give you like 1000 percent that it is not gonna happen but this is the part that i love about these and I love it even more than Ugg. The bottom of this is so high quality. It's so weird how much that means to me, but I swear to you, like, it matters. And it matters when you're walking in them. And it, like, it just feels like a sturdy shoe. This is more of, like, a plasticky type material. And it doesn't look weird. It's not, like, one of those things where it looks, like, odd. But this is, like, comparable to a sneaker. I just feel like this holds up so much better in the snow, in the rain, in, like, just wearing them often. This is going to hold up better than, I would say, even even these i like the bottom of these but like it's kind of more of that softer material it just means you have to be a little bit more mindful about the amount of times you wear them because eventually like this will all kind of like wear away and again you would have to wear them kind of a ridiculous amount for that to happen but it is still a thing that could happen i just feel like these meet a lot of needs that aren't met by these ones that i really appreciate i also like that this one has the little pull string on it as well like it makes it easier to get on I also think it mirrors this look a little bit better. I think comfort wise, I tend to prefer this one a little bit more, but quality, I like these ones a lot better. And there are qualities of this one that I like even more than Ugg, which is kind of saying a lot, to be honest. Love these, highly recommend it. These ones are from Amazon. I will link them down below. We are going rogue. We're not doing boots. We're doing Tasman slippers now. I wear these things all the time. This is my favorite thing I've spent money on recently. These are the Tasman dupe from Costco. I'm gonna be so for real. These are hard to find. I had a hard time finding my size in these. I know other people have experienced this as well. I did an Instagram reel about these and it got like a ton of views, which I was very surprised by. But unfortunately, I may have drawn more attention than you probably would like considering that you might want these to these boots then might be helpful in terms of getting them so i apologize for that but i do really really like these a lot there were different colors so it came in this brown the chestnut color and black i obviously got the brown one i was gonna get the chestnut color because i liked it more but they did not have my size i bought these like early september maybe even august that is just like a true testament to how much people really like these they're not an exact 100 dupe but they stand on their own so so well the base is super 
similar to Ugg, not like the other one that I showed. They're not rubber, they're more of that like squishy material. I really only wear these in like my house or if I'm like doing something super quickly that doesn't require much of anything at all. I really, really like these a lot. I think they are so nice. I, however, was able to find a similar dupe to these on Amazon so you guys can check those out as well. I don't have those ones, I only have these ones, but I really, really like these ones. I think I prefer having these over the Ugg version simply because the way I wear them isn't outside as much. It's not gonna have as much wear and tear compared to this version where I just wear this all the time. These are far more in the house type of shoes or again, like very casual errands. Because of that, I think that you don't necessarily need ones that are super expensive. These were literally $25. So if you were to get the Tasman, they're gonna be at least $100. I believe I paid like 150 for these. So price point, it's pretty significant. You could literally get all three of these for the same price as up, which is crazy. My toes were getting cold, so I had to put my slipper back on, but I love those things so much. I literally influenced my dad to get them. Like, I feel like I'm just influencing people to buy those ones and they're so cute. Again, I'm gonna try and find the link to them on Costco. It might be hard to find your size. They're typically sold out. So I'm gonna put another dupe that I can find as well on Amazon. I have a bonus shoe for you and it's very interesting because it doesn't necessarily fulfill like any of the same requirements that the other shoes have, but it is a shoe that I wanted to show because I feel like a lot of people don't actually know this shoe exists. This is not like a total Ugg dupe in the terms of looks, but, but I would consider it an Ugg dupe in terms of use case. And that that is these Doc Martin boots. The reason why I want to include these in video is because when I initially purchased these, I purchased them when like Uggs were really not in, they were not having their moment, but I still wanted the quality and comfort of warm boots that I could wear during winter. And these really fulfilled their purpose. These also handle snow so much better than any other boot. These are made to last and you can fully feel that. Like they, these are really nice quality, but I really appreciate that it has that same soft inside. It's not as furry, but it is furry throughout the boot, other than these little parts right here where it stretches. The stretching part is so, so good though, because it still gives you some movement. One of the issues with docks is they can be super uncomfortable, so these did take a while to break in, which is kind of funny and unfortunate, considering like Uggs, you don't even have to break them in, they're just comfortable automatically. But I do like that these kind of keep like a lower profile and they seem like more dressed up to me, if that makes sense. These definitely don't work with every outfit. I would never wear this like athleisure, for example, but I would wear this with like a nicer outfit where like maybe the top part was covered a little bit and it would just look like a regular shoe. And in typical dog fashion, they have very like well-made thick bases. This is like straight up rubber. I feel like if I were struck by lightning, I'd be grounded. Like it's, it is like very thick. Really, really like these. Definitely very different, especially compared to these, but I definitely wanted to mention them because I have found a lot of use cases for this that like Ugg doesn't necessarily fulfill. Big issue with this, especially when you're looking into something like dupes, the price point is high. If you are buying these, you may as well just buy Uggs if that is like your goal. But if you're like looking for something a little bit different, a little bit more unique, something that kind of fulfills a lot of the same goals as Uggs do, but gives you kind of more in terms of ability to wear these out with like actual outfits kind of thing, or just something different, especially if you're not into the look of Uggs, I think these are absolutely perfect for it. The really nice thing about these is I don't feel like they're gonna go out of style. Uggs are obviously having such a huge moment right now. But I definitely recall when this happened when I was like in middle school, Uggs were huge, they were such a thing. And then they kind of just like fell off and it felt weird to wear them, honestly. Obviously keep wearing whatever you want, continue with the trends, but these might last a little bit longer in terms of like a trend cycle because they're not very trendy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is like my favorite topic because I'm obsessed with comfort. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I will have all of the boots linked down below. Let me know if you guys have a favorite Ugg dupe. Is it one of these or is it a different one? Also, I'm super curious to know what you guys think about the Doc Martin ones as well because I kind of feel like mixed reviews about them depending on like who I ask. So it's definitely kind of maybe a controversial boot, but I like them. Want to know your guys' opinion on that. My nails keep snagging my sweater and it's driving me crazy, so I gotta go. If you guys want more of me, I'm on Instagram and TikTok at samantha.hope. And of course, you can always subscribe here to see more content. I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!